Corinth, Texas is a city that a lot of Dallas-Fort Worth residents have been flocking to because of its affordability, its real estate, and its lifestyle. So it's really no surprise that we're featuring the city of Corinth today. Today, we're gonna look at Corinth's history, what it's like to live in Corinth. We're also gonna look at the affordability, the lifestyle, and real estate to expect in the city, which is gonna allow us to compare Corinth to other Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex cities. So if you've been looking to move to Corinth, or are just simply interested in the city and want to learn a little bit more, this is the video for you. Or said a different way, in this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about Corinth, Texas. So first, let's start off on where it's located. Corinth is located to the northern part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and has Interstate 35 East as the major highway giving it access to the rest of the DFW which is what you'll use if you want to get to a larger city such as Fort Worth to check out the Fort Worth Zoo, which you're looking at a 45 minute commute. Now, if you're trying to get to Dallas to check out the Dallas Stars, you're looking at a 35 minute commute. Now, if you're trying to catch a flight at the DFW International Airport, give yourself at least 20 minutes. Now, I share those heavily frequented locations because at one point or another, you're going to go to Fort Worth, you're going to go to Dallas, or you're going to catch a flight. But to give you a more day to day feel on what the commute looks like around Corinth, check out how far you can go away from the city within 30 minutes. So as you can see, you can cover a good portion of the northern part of the DFW Metroplex within those 30 minutes. And now that we know where in the world Corinth, Texas even is, I want to welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez, your local realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident. So if you can hit that like button, it's going to really help us out. All right. So now back to Corinth, because this is what you came for. Corinth is located in Denton County and was originally incorporated in September of 1960. And for the first part of its history, it had a relatively moderate growth. It wasn't until the 1970s that Corinth experienced the economic development that we now know the city to have, which was a direct result and beneficiary of the Interstate Highway 35 between Dallas and Denton. To where now at present day, Corinth has over 23,000 residents, which get to enjoy numerous parks and recreation facilities, along with a variety of shops and restaurants. Now, Corinth is one of those cities that I, for the longest time, passed every single day when I was commuting from Carrollton to Denton. And that really was the story of a lot of commuters back then. However, now as more restaurants are coming into play, now that more homes are being constructed, it really has become a city of its own. But to add some additional context to Corinth, I want to introduce an external resource in Niche.com, which interprets millions of public data sets and information on cities all across the country, which is then used to grade every single city. And as you can see, Corinth has received an A grade from Niche having aggregated the 12 categories you see on the screen and has also ranked Corinth as the ninth best place to raise a family in Denton County. Now that's what the algorithm is saying. However, what are current and past Corinth residents saying about the city? Well, according to the 71 reviews to date, they gave the city of Corinth a four out of five stars. So overall, not only is Corinth getting high marks from an outsider's perspective, but you're also seeing some high marks from insiders, from current and past residents alike. But here's where we start having some fun. Let's look at the recreation scene. The city of Corinth provides over 150 acres of parkland to choose from, which includes 12 neighborhood parks and a Corinth community park. Now, something I really like about the Corinth parks is that each one of them seems to have a style of its own. Whether you're looking to play some basketball, play some soccer, or go on a trail or visit a food truck, there's a park for you. Now, if you're looking for horse trails or hiking trails, Corinth has you covered. But if cycling is more of your speed, you can do that in Corinth as well. Let's check out the school system. Because regardless if you have kids or not, the school system impacts you. Number one, you're paying property taxes on that. And number two, it affects your resale value. Corinth is actually part of two independent school districts. You have Denton ISD and you have Lake Dallas ISD. So you're going to find some elementary and secondary schools intermixed between the two ISDs. So we'll briefly cover both ISDs with the understanding that depending on where you buy your home, you might be going to a different one. So just make note of that. Denton ISD has a 13 to 1 student ratio, which is better than the 15 to 1 state average. Now, when it comes to the percentage of teachers with three or more years of experience, Denton ISD has an 89%, which this too is better than the state average at 84%. Now, from a Lake Dallas perspective, the teacher to student ratio is 14 to 1, 
which this too is better than the state average. Now, when you're looking at the percentage of teachers with three or more years of experience, it's 73% versus the state average of 84%. So in other words, it's less. Now, as a real estate agent, there are certain things that I am not able to cover when it comes to the schools. So I'm gonna leave a full report down below so you can check that out. But something that I am able to cover is really a topic that I'm all too familiar with in the city of Corinth. And that is, is there a Chick-fil-A in the city of Corinth? And the answer is a resounding yes. This is a location that I'm far too familiar with. We talked about my commute from Carrollton to Denton back in the day. And it was actually this Chick-fil-A that had me stopping in Corinth far too often. This was actually one of those small reasons that I was stopping in Corinth back in those days. All right, now let's continue because I recognize that you may not like Chick-fil-A as much as I do, but something that you might find interesting is real estate. So let's start off from a macro perspective. The typical home value of homes in Corinth is $452,758. Now this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. The Corinth home values have gone up 25.4% over the past year. Folks, this is not a typo. As you can see, the values have gone up pretty systematically over the last 10 years and it wasn't until the last 12 months that they absolutely skyrocketed. But if you've been waiting to purchase until prices came down, well, you might soon get your wish. And now that we know that the median home value in Corinth is $453,000, we need to look at the surrounding cities. How does Corinth compare? Denton, Texas has a median home value of $393,000. Shady Shores has a median home value of $588,000. Lake Dallas, $380,000. Highland Village, 603,000. Cooper Canyon, 858,000. And Argyle's median home value is $823,000. So as you can see, the median home values in Corinth are fairly competitive when you compare them against the surrounding cities. But right now, that median home value of $453,000 may not mean that much to you because there's no real context on the type of home that you can purchase with that amount. So check out the homes that are available for sale right now in that price range. Yeah, there's some really good looking homes there, right? Well, unfortunately, by the time you're watching this video, chances are those homes have already sold. For our most updated list and curated list of our preferred homes in Corinth, check out our link down below. And now is a great time to share with you the monthly mortgage payment in Corinth. So to best do that, I want you to check out this video right here where I break down how to calculate that in your specific price point. And that video is mandatory viewing, especially if you're coming in from out of state because our property taxes are different. Our property taxes are some of the highest in the country. Now, to be fair, we do not have a state income tax, but I still wanna let you know. Now, overall, the cost of living in Corinth is 5.2% higher than the national average. Now, if we look at it based off of categories, from a groceries perspective, it's 0.5% higher. From a housing perspective, it's 18.4% higher. From a utilities perspective, it's 0.2% higher. And from a transportation perspective, the cost of living in Corinth is 1.8% higher than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Corinth is the city for me. If that's you, fantastic. I invite you to check out our link down below and connect with our top realtors. However, if you're still on the fence, that's okay too. I wanna give you two additional cities to check out. I want you to check out the colony and I also want you to check out Louisville. I think you're going to enjoy those cities. But with that being said, I want to gift you with a small secret. I probably shouldn't be doing this because I will get in trouble. However, thank you for sticking around. There's actually a city in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex that charges 0% in property taxes. And that city is called...